Hello and welcome back to Living Supernaturally. Uh, we are excited uh, to be looking into the God's Word and especially this week we are studying about uh, how God is God's will for us to minister healing and we are looking at different ways or uh, methods by which healing is ministered. You know, and even when we use the word method, we, use, we do that uh, carefully because we know that healing is not in the method, uh, but we are studying the ways but healing is actually in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our healer. So when we look at um, uh, healing itself, when we look into the Word of God, we see that one of the ways by which healing is released to people and God has actually uh, ordained it and designed it in such a way, is it's through the prayer of agreement. Let's look at Matthew chapter 18 and verse, verses 18 to 20. This is what the Lord Jesus says, Assuredly, I say to you, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And in verse 19, again I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. So we see this promise where two or three are gathered, God is there, the Lord is there. And also, if two of us agree on earth concerning anything that we ask, it will be done. So this prayer of agreement, it's so powerful. He's given us the spiritual authority and His will is that we as the church use this authority in spiritual battle against the enemy. That we uh, as the church, that we, when we forbid or when we bind or when we release or when we permit, um, it will be so. He has given us the authority. And in this context, the Lord says that when we come in agreement uh, and ask and petition the Father, it will be done for us. And it is a coming together with one heart and with one mind. So um, there are many times when we, when we intend to gather together or maybe we have been gathering together uh, with that oneness for a season, then a lot of other things try to attack that unity and things that creep in like strife and anger and misunderstandings and gossip and offense. Um, so we need to be really discerning and do our utmost to avoid any kind of uh, uh, any, or any kind of disunity or anything that destroys that oneness of heart and mind. Um, uh, you know, it could be in, uh, in a marriage, uh, it could be in any kind of relationships. Um, this oneness, this unity is so important and it's, it's a prerequisite, in fact, for this prayer of agreement. So when we agree and when we pray, when we ask the Father, when we petition the Father, uh, it will be done. And the Lord who hears our prayers sees our oneness of heart and He moves on our behalf and uh, shows Himself strong. So today, um, uh, get in agreement with another person and pray and see the hand of the Lord move powerfully in the life of that person. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you that, uh, that this is your design, this is your purpose, God, and uh, this is your will that we come together in agreement. And when we pray in agreement, Lord, this is your promise that it will be granted. And Lord, we pray especially for, uh, uh, for bodies to be healed today, God, for minds to be set free, God, and for deliverance to happen even as we agree and pray. Thank you for doing this. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.